Hey, what's going on, peeps? It's your boy, KDK. So I'm here to give you guys some brand new, late-breaking news. The new Zen Studio 1.0.6 update has officially been released as of this morning at 7.50 a.m. As you guys know, I am part of the beta team, and I just wanted to kind of go over some of the important notes about the new Zen Studio update. So first and foremost, you have a new programmer tab, convert programmer tab menu buttons to radio buttons with animations. Take the controls away from the CS and then put them into the XAML file. Uh, we also have some general fixes here as well. We got various UI fixes and enhancements. Fix the potential game pack scripts disappear on the device reconnect. You can now send GPC code to be added as a compiler tab and even compile it to Zen Studios using a external app. Uh, I think there is some additional information with that. You can ask some of the guys on the Discord, but uh, I'll relay that information to you guys. Uh, programmer tab, fix the bug where the newest tab wasn't initially sorted chronologically. Um, as far as the Max Mapper, uh, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with the Max Mapper, this is where you can reassign your buttons to different controls and actually watch your layout. So uh, add Wii input controller to the layout, which is a phenomenal add. Fix the crash that would occur if you didn't use the Max Mapper plugin in Kronos Pro before using it in the Zen Studio on closing. So for those of you guys not familiar with Max Mapper, um, I've actually did a video on this. Haven't uploaded yet where I used my RK one up my back in February or so. You guys know I've had my Kronos Zen since February. And so I did an RK one up my using the Kronos Zen and use the uh, Nintendo Switch. And um the layouts were a little minimal as far as that, but they did add the Wii uh, controller support there so you guys can see how you can map your dead buttons. That's really helpful if you guys are using this for arcade modding or using your Nintendo Wii or your Switch. Uh, mouse and keyboard setting plugin. Add some missing input keys that were not being recognized. So um, I have promised you guys an additional mouse and keyboard video. I was waiting for some of these updates. I'm not the kind of guy that wants to make multiple uh, videos on the same thing. So there are some things that needed to be added, things I could actually see. So we actually have a fix for that now. So that looks like it's gonna be very promising. Compiler underscore GPC, added new opcode image underscore OLED, uh, added clamp min and max math functions. So yeah, I have those features there. Updated PUTC underscore OLED to allow ASCII characters up to 136. That's phenomenal there. Compiler tab, added support for generating combo statistics, meaning the total runtime of each combo and number of steps each combo has non-recursive use. So I've had some people ask me some questions in regards to my Mortal Kombat video. Yes, I was using a PC to record and record the software, but no, um, at the same time, I was using my Xbox Elite controller directly plugged into my Xbox One and I was playing it that way. So yes, um, as far as recording, you could do all the recording on the Chrono Zen itself. You don't need a computer for that. The, that was actually the reason why I was using a computer was to make things simplified so you guys can see it with the recording software. So again, guys, just wanted to bring you guys this important update from the uh, beta team and what was released today on the Discord. So there's a lot of phenomenal comments here that we also have some new updates. Now make sure when you do update your Chrono Zen, you are also applying a firmware update as well. You always want to do that anytime there's a new software update. So um, I just wanted to bring you guys this important announcement. And also, yes, there are some new scripts coming out for Warzone uh, and some other games as well. And I will be testing, you guys will know, one of my favorite games, Ears, Gears of War series. Been playing that since 2007, 2008. So I was talking to one of my buddies out there. He's gonna send me some scripts over for Gears of War 5. I'm gonna debut that and test it here on this channel, uh, hopefully within the next day or two, depending upon when they're ready. So again, guys, this is KDK. Just wanted to bring you guys this important update and let you guys know what is going on. But a lot of the guys in the forums are absolutely blown away right now. So uh, we're gonna get some better scripts out there. Stay tuned. I know I have some other things going on with Raspberry Pi and some other stuff in the community, but uh, stay tuned. We'll give you guys some other updates and test all these scripts out for you. This is KDK, Keel Dyken. Catch you guys next time.